How to Fund College Hey this is Scott Rulon and welcome to my YouTube video. I have been an accountant for 32 years and have helped hundreds of parents fund college the right way. Please like comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive future videos. Welcome to my blog How to Fund College. Who in their right mind would have thought that college could have gotten so expensive? Last time I looked the average price of a state school topped $32,000, out of state $54,000, and the private schools like Notre Dame over $72,000. By the way, just so you know those amounts are per year. The next question is usually how to fund that massive amount of tuition and room and board. What are you going to do, and how will you do it? I find that about 5-10% to have saved enough to pay in full, and 40% have saved something, but will need extra funding along the way. That means that a full 55% have saved nothing and need all the help that they can get. There are several ways to pay for college both traditional and non-traditional. The Pale Grant if you make less than $60,000 a year you may qualify for some free money like $5,000 grand to be exact. You will need to fill out the FAFSA form, free application for federal student aid. Today I believe FAFSA has over 129 questions about every aspect of your financial and family life. Stafford Loan Stafford loans are provided to just about everybody going into undergraduate school. There are two types of loans subsidized and unsubsidized. Subsidized means the government pays the interest until you graduate. The second means interest continues to accrue while you are in school. Freshmen receive $5,500. Sophomores receive $6,500, and juniors and seniors receive $7,500 each year. Payback usually starts 6 months after you graduate unless you can get a deferment. Parents do not have to pay these loans back as they are the student's responsibility to pay back over 10 years. Parent Plus Loans Parent Plus Loans are generally made by institutions like Sally Mae, Wells Fargo, and Discover Card. They are variable rate loans that a parent has to co-sign on. Payments start immediately and there is no deferment. If the student defaults mom and dad are on the hook for the loan. You want to minimize these as much as possible. Outside Scholarships Unfortunately outside scholarships represent only 3% of the college funding equation. Look at places like FastWeb to apply for these scholarships. Think about applying for 60 to 100 scholarships in these categories. Most are in the range of $200 to $500 but they can add up. University or college level scholarship These scholarships are the place to concentrate on, as most college money is given here. These scholarships can be need based or merit based, but you must fill out a FAFSA. Out of the box opportunities Alternative CD a financial instrument that is uncountable in the FAFSA calculation. Alternative Roth a longer term financial instrument that can be used for tax free funding of college tuition. Digital business a business used to make money to pay college tuition or retirement savings. Additional resources on my website, myfinancialfair.com or follow me on social media in the description field below. Partner with Anthony. Legit crypto or hype and trash coin? 2021, legit or scam? Hyperfund launches hypermining that promises rewards of big ROI. Legit or scam? Millionaire shortcut by Jeff Lerner.